video will demonstrate how to create comic strips in Google Slides. To get started, let's head on over to a Google Slides presentation. So I went ahead and made a little Google Slides presentation on each of the two slides. I put one image. If you're doing this with students though, you know they may have two images kind of stacked on a single slide and have more slides than that based on the complexity and plot line. So here um, I have this first picture and what I want to do, I'm going to use the callouts feature and we're going to insert some callouts to have speech and thought bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and click away from that image. And I'm going to go to the insert shape menu. I'm going to scroll down to callouts. So I'll go to callouts and I have four different speech bubbles here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this, click on this cloud callout. And I'll draw that kind of how we want it to be drawn. And I'll take this little thought part down here. Notice that I can put that wherever I want on my slide and I can extend it as needed. Because in this case, maybe the thought from my dog, Molly the Puggle over here, will fit down at the bottom of the screen. And then to enter her text, I'm just going to double click and I'll start typing the text that I want to add. So I went ahead and I added some text for Molly the Puggle to, to um, that'll be her thought. And I can, you know, modify the text, the text format as needed if I want it all to fit on one line or two lines or whatever the case may be. Maybe I have quite a bit of text in here. I can always lengthen the thought bubble to get more text to fit on one line if that's something you really want to do. Now that I've put in a thought bubble for the dog, I'm going to go ahead and insert one for my daughter as well. I'm going to click Shapes, Callouts, and then I'm going to pick that same cloud callout uh, to imply that she's just thinking this. So I'll drag it a little bit wider because she's going to have a little bit more to think here. And then I'll extend these bubbles so it's obvious it's coming from her. And we'll go ahead and type the text that my daughter is going to say. Now that I've went ahead and put her text in here, um, one thing you might want to do on your comic strips is change the background. We're going to click background and we're going to change the background color from white to black. And then we're going to go ahead and hit add to theme. So that is applied to all slides in this slideshow and hit done. So then you'll see both slides have the same background color. In some cases, you may want to add a, an image as the background, in which case you'll go background and choose an image from your computer or from your drive. Now that we have our background image in, we're going to go ahead to the next slide in our slideshow or page in our comic book. I would want to go ahead and mask this image and put it in another shape. To do that, I can click on the image come up here to the crop image button and click the arrow to the right of crop that says mask image and you'll see that we can mask it in all kinds of shapes. We can do a smiley face or since there's so much love between the the dog and person here maybe we can mask it as a heart but for these purposes we're going to go ahead and use a rounded rectangle. You can learn more about editing images in Google Slides by watching my video on that topic and by clicking the link on your screen right now. So sometimes in our comic strips, um, you'll have a little kind of text prompt. So we're going to put one of those in with a little rectangle shape. Now we're going to go ahead and put one more thought bubble in our comic strip. I want to make sure everyone knows this is coming from the dog, so I'm going to drag out these little speech bubbles so that it's pretty clear they're coming from Molly the Puggle and not Juliana. And we'll go ahead and double click in that speech bubble to type out our text. And now I have finished up my comic strip. Um, if you have assigned this to Google Classroom, students will be able to submit it through Classroom or share it with you via Google Drive. This has been a brief demonstration on how to create comic strips using Google Slides.